Woods Bracken, guys. Welcome to this player go test for our and Mark Roca. The 21 year old center defense in Midwest has a 77 overall. Three star skin moves and three star weak foot. He is six foot left footed with medium high work rates. As we flip over here, take a look at those initial physical and mental attributes 64 acceleration, 67 agility, 64 balance, 59 jumping, 65 sprint speed, 77 stamina, and 66 strength. So, physically, really the best attributes of stamina. Other than that, he's pretty much mediocre average at best everywhere else mentally 16 aggression nice 60 attack position 70 composure 75 interception 72 reactions and 76 vision tactically very good passing from a start 82 short pass and 77 long pass so i think as a center defense mid he's better for a team you know if, if your style you'd like to hold possession have cdms who are good on the ball he's probably that type of cdm you you would like ideally tactically 77 ball control 66 crossing curve 68 dribbling 59 finishing 77 long pass 65 long shots 78 marking is is quite good actually 82 short passes mentioned before 74 slide tackle 76 stand tackle 65 long shots 46 shot power 44 volleys 55 penalties to take a look at the few other attributes which aren't too significant for him as a cdm i would say but no traits on him or anything just the long passer one for the cpu ai as we'll see a plus three is overall at the end of that first season with the jumping up by three points a plus one the sprint speed stamina up by two and a nice plus plus six to the strength mentally the aggression up by two while the interceptions and reactions grew by a point each the vision up by three so good improvements in that season tactically ball control hitting the 80 mark thanks to a plus three the finishing up by two crossing curve up by a point long pass improving by four plus three the marking short pass slide tackle and stand tackle both up by two points while the long shots grew by two so good improvements physically mentally and tactically in this season is now up to the 82 overall at age 23 strength again growing by six points so just in the two seasons grown a lot and that de definitely needed that because like i said before it's pretty much stamina uh and everything everything else is pretty bad but strength is getting to you know to being kind of pretty good uh, above average you know at least so good improvements there mentally physically some of the attributes grew also technically the short pass with a big plus four slide tackle up by three and the stand tackle up by two points and plus one the marking long pass ball control curve dribbling in the cross and grew by two points there also so still probably a few seasons away from hitting his potential cdm center backs tend to kind of take a little bit longer to grow center backs for sure but cdm is usually about 26 27 is when they hit their potential what it seems like without training so physically plus one of the acceleration balance jumping sprint speed salmon and strength agility and aggression up by two then a plus three to his vision now technically the ball control grew by four points a plus one the crossing curve up by two long pass improving by three a plus four the marking while the short pass and the slide tackle both grew by two points so above 90 in the short pass and 85 long pass so really good passing ability he has on him at the moment now up to the 85 overall at age 25 with a stand and strength both up by two points sprint speed up by one mentally the aggression reactions and vision up by a point and the interceptions grew by two so good improvements again to the stamina and strength in that season along with some of the key mental attributes now technically the ball control crossing curve and finishing up by a point long pass up by one also marking improving by three a plus one of the short pass slide tackle up by five and a plus three of the stand tackle so really good growth to the marking and tackling in that season and some plus ones and pretty much everywhere else it seems like as we now see made his potential here of 87 overall at age 26 again six foot left foot and medium high work rates three star weak foot and three star skill moves good work rates for cdm for sure and it's nice to see him add a lot to his strength physically uh and mentally overall we'll take you like the individual attributes here the acceleration group uh got to the 66 69 agility nice 65 balance 67 jumping 69 sprints be nice 86 stamina and 82 strength mentally 80 aggression 72 composure 79 interception 79 reaction and 85 vision along with 61 attack position so definitely some very good attributes for a cdm he ends up with especially the stamina strength and the vision is also pretty good along with the interceptions and reactions and aggression so moving over to the final technical attributes here ends up with 89 ball control so definitely has a nice touch 72 crossing 71 curve 70 dribbling 56 free kick actually 62 finishing 86 long pass 67 long shots 90 marking 61 penalties 96 short pass 89 slide tackle and 84 stance that was obviously really good marking and tackling 
but that passing ability looks really good along with the ball control. So this is going to be really nice uh, when, you know, when she sees that ball in the midfield, going to have a good touch and be able to really play some nice passes and also win the ball back for you with, with that strength, stamina, marking, and tackling ability. So just really a perfect CDM, especially when you take into account those work rates, the medium high also. So he's six foot, left foot with medium high work rates, as said before, three star weak foots and three star skimmos. We see if he picked up any specialties. I'm guessing he got tackling or something maybe. Uh, actually, no specialties. A bit surprising, but still nonetheless ends up being a very good option as a center defensive mid so to round this video we'll take a look at the growth of each individual attribute along with overall rating each position uh crossing up by six the finishing up by three a plus seven the heading accuracy while the short passing grew by 14 volleys up by five dribbling improving by two plus five to the curve freaky accuracy up by four while the long passing grew by nine points and a plus 12 the ball control acceleration and agility both grew by two the sprint speed grew by four a plus seven the reactions and a plus one to the balance Shot power grew by 5, jumping up by 8, stamina up by 9 points, and a plus 16 the strength, while the long shots grew by 2. Mentally, a plus 11 to the aggression. Interceptions up by 4, positioning up by 1, and a plus 9 to his vision, while the penalties grew by 6, and the composure went up by 2 points. Defensively, the marking up by 12, a plus 8 to the stand tackle, and a plus 15 to his slide tackle. So 80 overall as a cam, 78 as a, as a right mid, left mid, 84 as a center mid, 83 as a wing back, 82 as a full back. 81 as a center back. I think heading accuracy definitely is what kind of hurts him as a center back and probably a few other areas as well, uh, such as jumping. But a, very, a wonderful option as a CDM. It can definitely be kind of a defensive center mid also. Doesn't have the best dribbling and finishing. That's also something that, that affects his overall as a center mid. Or I think he'd be closer to that 87 if he had higher finishing and better dribbling. But either that, a wonderful option as a center defensive mid with his passing, marking, tackling, vision, good interceptions also. Of course, stamina and strength, as I mentioned before. So with that, my beautiful Chalupa lovers, please leave a like on the video. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a great week. I love you. Hit that like button. I'll be sending out now, and I'll catch you guys later.